Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Around the League. Today we are taking a look at one of those lesser known FCS conferences. That is a Division I college sports conference where the football teams do not play in the upper tier, but rather the lower tier of D1 football, the FCS, the Football Championship Series. Uh, now this conference is one that I personally am familiar with because of where I grew up. But if you didn't grow up in the Western United States and specifically in areas with these smaller schools, you may not have heard of it. Uh, but this is the Big Sky Conference. This uh, takes place kind of all over the Western and Mountain United States, uh, everything west of the Great Plains but includes a variety of state schools that you will have heard of and maybe some lesser ones, but we'll talk about that. It basically encapsulates all of these Western states except for Wyoming and Nevada. And we're gonna start in Colorado and then circle our way all the way back up to Montana. But we're gonna start in Colorado, one school in Colorado. There are 10 total schools in this conference as full-time members. The first one is north of Denver, uh, west, or excuse me, east, southeast of Fort Collins in Greeley, Colorado, and that is the University of Northern Colorado. So the University of Northern Colorado sits virtually right in the heart of town here. You can find it just west of uh, the Can-Am Highway there, UNC, uh, the Bears, big music school. I actually, um, personal tangent, I got one of my first music awards uh, at the UNC Jazz Festival in Greeley, Colorado. So that's a personal connection I have with UNC. But then we're going to move over to Utah, one school in Utah, and that is over in Ogden. So if we go north of Salt Lake City, most of the schools are going to be between Salt Lake City and Provo. Uh, but if we go all the way up to Ogden, which is another one of those big towns in the area, we are going to find Weber State University. I know it looks like Weber State, but it is actually pronounced Weber. We zoom in here and the Weber Wildcats play on the eastern side of town there, Weber State University. Then we're going to go south into Arizona. One school in Arizona, one that you may have heard of. It's one of the uh, bigger schools in Arizona. Not many colleges in Arizona, believe it or not, um, but this one is the University of Northern Arizona. UNA, the Lumberjacks play up in Flagstaff. So if you go straight north of Phoenix past Sedona, you're going to find Flagstaff. Uh, and the University of Northern Arizona, if we zoom in here, is going to be just to the, let's say, southwest of the heart of town. Uh, easy to find is this big dome here, the J. Lawrence Walk-Up Sky Dome. That is home to their football team there. But that is N-A-U. I think I said U-N-A. It's definitely N-A-U, the Lumberjacks. Then we move over to California. A single school in California is kind of the case with a lot of these states, just a single school. This one is in the state capital of Sacramento. And this school is Sacramento State, or officially the California State University campus in Sacramento, home to, of course, the Hornets. So if we zoom in here, how are we going to find the university? If we zoom in on the heart of Sacramento here, kind of where the rivers meet, and then we go directly to the east along the American uh, and find kind of this big, almost right angle bend south of the state fair, you're gonna find California State University, Sacramento or Sacramento State. Uh, Hornet Stadium is where the football team plays there, but that is home to the Hornets. Let's then go up into Oregon, another one school state. We're gonna go up to Portland. Portland has two major schools, of course, the University of Portland or Portland University uh, play in, I believe, the WCC, don't quote me on that, and this school is Portland State University. So if we zoom in here, the easiest way to find Portland State University is to zoom in on downtown, find Providence Park, that's the big soccer stadium just to the west of downtown, and go to the south where the freeway turns to go across the bridge. And in this curve is tucked Portland State University. Big urban campus here, uh, Peter W. Stott Community Field there. This is home to the Portland State Vikings. Then we're gonna go up to Washington, one school in Washington, probably best known uh, for their football team because of the color of their field. Uh, this is over in Cheney, Washington, Eastern Washington, University. So given its name, go over to Spokane and Cheney sits just to the southwest 
of Spokane. And you'll see what I mean. You can see it from space. There it is. The bright red colored field. One of the more iconic college football fields in the country. Of course, Boise State, another one. Coastal Carolina being another one. But this red field, home to the Eagles of Eastern Washington University. Just to the west of, I guess you could call the city center there. Just kind of sits on its own. It's not a very large town. But EWU there in Cheney, Washington. Now we get to a two-state school. We are going to go into Idaho and first touch on the University of Idaho, which sits just across the border in Moscow. Zoom in here. Should be easy to find the Kibi Activity Center, this big dome here. Uh, one of another, I guess you could call it, more iconic college football facilities that is home to the University of Idaho Vandals. Big interior dome, big bright roof because it has these wooden panels, uh, big windows that let the sun in. It's a, a very unique atmosphere for college football, but that is the University of Idaho. And then we have to go to Pocatello to find the other school in Idaho State University. And this is located virtually on the opposite end of the state. This is kind of the, the not quite the panhandle, but the northwest of the state. We go down to the southeast and find Pocatello. Zoom in here, and the Bengals of Idaho State University, uh, the campus located just on the eastern side of town. There's Davis Field there. That is Idaho State University. Two more schools to touch on, both in Montana. These are the two state schools of Montana. First one we're going to touch on is in Missoula. And Missoula is located uh, just kind of to the north here along the border with Idaho. And this is the University of Montana. The Grizz, short for the Grizzlies, often called just the Grizz, they play University of Montana eastern side of town there. Washington Grizzly Stadium. One of my buddies used to be their stadium PA announcer is my connection to that school there. And then the final school in the state is over in Bozeman. So if we go over in the direction of Billings, we should be able to find Bozeman, Montana, sitting right there just to the west of Livingston. Montana State University, the Bobcats, play their football games. They're just to the south of campus. Very open, kind of rural, uh, suburban neighborhood there. That is Bobcat Stadium, home to Montana State. So those are all 10 schools that make up the Big Sky Conference. Let me know what you thought of this video and if there's other conferences that we haven't touched on yet. They're probably in our pipeline soon to come out, but let me know if there are other ones that you want us to touch on. Uh, check out all of our other content, including American professional sports, uh, South American professional sports, Western Conference, or excuse me, Western Hemisphere, including Canada and Mexico, as well as some of the leagues over in Europe. But that's all for now. Until next time, we hope to see you very, very soon.